All right, today on this 2015 Chevy Silverado 3500 Crew Cab, we're going to install part number BWP UCP 7541BA. This is a BMW custom headache rack with LED lights. Now, this headache rack is designed to keep from cargo from damaging your rear view window or keep anything from going through your glass. Okay, this has a louver screen on it so you can still see out the back of your vehicle. Now these horizontal louvers actually help shield the sun from the truck. It may help in decreasing the temperature inside the truck a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a look at the features that are actually on the side here. Looking on the passenger side, we've got a handhold right here. So if you need to get access to the back of your truck, you can. This also acts as a nice tie down point as well. Okay. It's got a nice wide base at the bottom and it gets narrow as it goes up towards the top. Take a look at the top here, it acts as a load stop to keep anything from sliding off to the side. And also you got a generous hole here that can be used for a tie down point as well. Okay, now our handles and, dry, and tie down points are gonna be uh, identical on each side of a truck. All right, we'll go ahead and take a look at the louvers here. Now you can see that angle is pointed down, but you can still see straight out through them. This is actually made of pretty heavy material, so whatever accidentally happens to hit on this, it's, not, it's gonna withstand damage and protect your glass behind it. Now you also have about maybe an inch or so of room between your glass and, of, and louvers as well. Now on each side of the rack we've got two LED lights, both with a chrome finish trim around them. Yeah, this will be a ring light, turn signal, and brake. And the lights on the inside will only act uh, as a running light signal. All right, now this headache rack is actually really easy to install and kind of fun actually. It only has three parts. First off, you have the headache rack itself right here, which just comes already fully assembled. Okay, that's part number one. Part number two is the rail protectors right here. One on each side. They do require a drill a 5 16 hole in two places on both sides of the truck. And then you have your wire harness for your lights that typically get ran below the truck and these will splice into your uh, factory wire harness in the truck. And with that, we'll go ahead and show you how the headache rack installs onto the truck. Okay, we'll go ahead and start off by putting our bed protectors in place. This is one for the driver's side. We'll set it on the rail and then push it far forward as possible. We'll do that on both sides. Okay, with the bed protectors all the way forward and pushed up against the bed, we'll go ahead and get a quick measurement from the center of one stud to the center of a stud across the other side. We're doing this to measure up against the holes or the slots in the headache rail to make sure the measurement comes out the same. We want to be within half an inch. Once we're verified that that fits okay, we can go ahead and start marking and drilling our holes for our bed protectors. I'm going to hold the bed protector in place with a 5 16 drill bit. We'll go through a square hole and use a, the bed protector as a template to mark my hole. Only two places to do it in. Then we'll go ahead and take our bed protector out of the way and finish up drilling our holes. One hole we drilled out, almost lined up an existing hole in the bed. This one we're going to use a pilot bit then go back at it with our larger bit. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and cover up our holes with some tape, and I'm gonna spray uh, something to protect the metal from underneath. Then using your favorite paint, primer, or even undercoat, whichever you like, to protect the metal, we'll spray from the bottom. Okay, now on a hole going towards the cab, there's actually a plastic tab for the uh, bed rail cover. So we're gonna go ahead and, and our hole's right next to it. So let's just go ahead and just break it loose. Create enough room for our hardware where we should be okay. Alright, let's go ahead and install our hardware, which will be a 516 carriage bolt with a 516 flat washer and lock washer and nut on the other side. Okay, now there's two sides of flat washers that come with the kit. 
Make sure you use a smaller of the two sizes here. Okay, we just wanna take up the slack, but we won't tighten them down yet. All right, one, one's done, let's do the other attachment point. All right, we're done for passenger side. Let's do the same thing over on driver's side. Okay, now at this point, we can go ahead and put the headache rail into place. We'll go ahead and get an extra set of hands. We'll put it into place, line up the studs, and then we'll loosely install the hardware, one on each side to stabilize it. Let's look at the large flat washer, lock washer, and nut. Okay, all right, now with it stabilized with this hardware, we'll go ahead and install the same hardware on the remaining two studs on each side. Okay. Okay, now with all our hardware loosely installed, we'll take a few moments to go ahead and put the headache rack where we want it, left to right, to center up with the cab. All right, now using a half inch socket, we'll go ahead and tighten down our hardware to our bed protectors first. One side's done, let's go ahead and go to the other side, do the same thing. Maybe make one double check to make sure your rack is even on both sides. Then we'll go ahead and tighten down this hardware here. We'll be using a 916 socket. Just barely enough room for a socket, a short socket and a ratchet to fit. Now we'll go ahead and tighten down our passenger side. All right, now with all, our heart, with all the hardware hand tightened, we'll go ahead and torque them down as specified in the instructions. Okay, we'll torque down our bed protectors first, and then the headache rack. Okay, with the headache rack fully installed, let's go ahead and work with the electrical. First off, we're gonna add some loom material to kind of hide the wires that you can see uh, that'll go up behind the headache rail. All right, now the wire of the loom we're using is part number 459075-1. We'll go ahead and tape off the end of it so it won't slide down on us. Then we'll take the rest of the wire, we're just going to drop it down behind the cab. We'll spread out to the side. And work with it from there. Okay. Now we're going to take our four pole wire harness, we're going to route it back towards the bumper and towards the seven pole connector on a tow package. Where we'll get our light signal from there. Now running the wire towards the back is largely it's going to be personal preference, but this is how we did it. We actually threaded a the wire through the hat channel that goes underneath the bed and through the corrugations. So the corrugation was holding the wire up for us the whole time. And we just came around the corner at the end of the bed, right here. And it worked our way towards our seven pole connector at the bumper. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put some loom material or it goes around the corner as well. Everywhere else it seems to be sitting pretty well flat. Now, we look for our seven pole connector behind the bumper here. This is it. And we'll go ahead and splice it to our wires right here behind the connection point. To make things a little bit easier, we're gonna disconnect our wire harness from the seven pole. Now, to disconnect it, we need to remove this gray lock right here. So we'll need a small screwdriver to pop it loose. Okay, we'll work the lock out of the way. And then, we push down this button right here and we go ahead and pull it apart. Next, we'll go ahead and peel back the covering for a wire so we have better access to it. All right, now test our wires. Our tester is going to need a ground, and also our wire harness is going to be grounded to frame as well. So let's go ahead and install our ground first. We're going to use a self tapping screw. Uh, we 
put the ground to our tester onto that. And then we can go ahead and test our wires. Instead of piercing the wires, we're actually going to probe right here and then see which wire it is on the other side. But there is a cap that we have to remove so we can see what's going on. And with a flat screwdriver, we can just go ahead and pry it off and out of the way. And then we can see our wires. Okay, let's go ahead and test for a running light circuit first. All right, so we found a running light circuit. We'll flip it over. And it looks like the gray wire to brown stripe will be a running light circuit. Let's go ahead and cut our wire. And we'll go ahead and strip our wires back. Maybe like a quarter inch or so. And then we'll add our brown wire from our headache rack, which will be for our running light circuit. We'll go ahead and add them together like this. We'll install our buck connector. All right, now the buck connectors we're using is part number DW05744-5. Okay, we'll go ahead and crimp it down on both sides. Okay, now we can go ahead and double check our connection. All right, let's go ahead and check for our, our left turn signal. There it is. Looks like a yellow wire with a silver stripe is going to be our left turn signal. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing once again. We'll split the wire, add our buck connector, and connect up our yellow wire from our headache rack to that wire. All right, now we'll go ahead and look for our right turn signal. Okay. All right, so it looks like our right turn signal would be a green wire with a purple stripe. All right, now for our ground, we'll go ahead and use a ring terminal. In this case, we're using part number DW05739-1. All right, now we'll go ahead and hook up our ground. We'll put the ring terminal on our white wire and then hook up to the screw we installed earlier. And that we're using the same screw we're using for our tester. All right, let's go ahead and leave it alone for now because all our circuits are connected Let's go ahead and check out our lights on our headache rack. All right, we'll go ahead and try our lights now. We'll, we'll dim our lights in our shop. Okay, we got our running lights on. We'll do our left turn signal. We'll do our right turn signal. Check out our brake signal. All right, with everything working, we'll go ahead and seal up our connections for good. We use a heat gun to go ahead and uh, shrink our buck connectors and seal them up. Let's also take a few moments to go ahead and put our cap back over our wires here. It just kind of threads in behind the wires or kind of threads in through the wires and snaps back into place. And since I got two wires going into one end, it might be a good idea to go ahead and still put some uh, electrical tape on there, just get a little extra uh, protection. Plug your socket back into our seven pole connector. Push it back into place till it clicks. And then put the little gray lock in. And that's it. Okay, we'll go ahead and zip tie our wires up. And that'll finish it for our install. Okay, with that, that'll finish it for part number BWPUCP7541BA, the BMW Custom Headache Rack with LED lights on our 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 Crew Cab.